Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Behind him, he's yeah. got all the soap, man. And he's well, a, the and armor, he's a tank. That's what he's fantastically yeah. comfortable lounge being back. You know, yeah. it's just, uh, good. <laughs> yeah, we were actually talking about Sandra and Gary yesterday. They were our group that were talking about the, our friend that's the hut that started as a heavy and he's turning into a traitor because yeah. you know, he's all about the business deals. Yeah. It's all about Who was born to play a hut? Oh, yeah. I mean, Xander even says He's just talking about he's all the time. Cool, Doc. 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 So how's everybody doing? Good. Oh. I picked up a uh, workshop manual for the ship. Oh, nice. Which, de- which downgrades difficulty checks to maintain and repair vehicle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking for. We have a big smiley for that. Huh? Just like big smiley pants. This is just a, an entry level yeah, he's brand new character because I didn't know any anything, so I made a base one, and that's Zemo. I remember my nice. I'm a boy. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's mental. Yeah. Uh, we should roll our. Well, we wait for him in here so he wouldn't. Oh, cry. I got a dark side for you, baby. Oh, what the? Two oh. dark sides. Oh, yes. Dark side, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better add to our pile. Come on, Dave. Have you guys already rolled? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We well, there's two. Two. There's one more. A total of three. Uh, That's what we got here. Or oh, one more dark. Side. Oh, oh my two god. Two more dark side. Yes. One I am on the forces in balance. <laughs> it's okay. True. <laughs> because you guys are hanging out with the dark sun, you know? The one back. The black sun. Oh, uh, he already oh, the force. force. Oh, okay. The force is in balance. <laughs> For a minute. Well, a minute until we all start going Again, we are back Woo! to the south. <laughs> the, the dark draw. side shall rise. <laughs> the, the dark side shall rise again. And he's like, so. I'm a draw, and we didn't know how they spoke, so now <laughs> I'm a sudden draw. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sudden draw. That's awesome. I love that so much. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I get myself a paper fan. Woo! <laughs> Working on the. I need a spy. I want to head out. Can this have the clarity day? <laughs> and I made him from. Uh, they gave him a northern midwestern accent. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. I'm talking through the whole game like this. Brenda and he was a cleric and I got Brenda Virus. <laughs> <laughs> Good golly jeepers. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually always wanted to do a bunch of character with a southern accent. <laughs> You know, I didn't know that I wanted to do it until it happened. That's always the yeah. best way for it to happen. That's a lot of dice. Yeah, it's a mm-hmm. lot, a lot of dice. I'm getting it. I bought a second set. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have two sets of at my friend's house. I, I just take from my husband's so augment mine. Yeah. Yep. And then every time I don't need like that one, you know, that one Sunday. Hey, okay, you guys, people did show up. Okay, let me buy some guys because I didn't bring it. Right. Thankfully, now we're in a time frame where you can get a hold of the decks. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there's the other side. You know, if we go out, you can borrow the service patch if you want, because it counts as a toolkit that you're going to carry. Yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with the dice? I am familiar with the dice. Uh, yeah, I, I've played and run a couple of these games. Before. It's been a little while at this point, but it's something you might want to buy. 
Yeah, or until nice. I make myself Being better. <laughs> well, okay, unless nice. you get a personal. Tool. Yeah, that, that'll that'll make it pretty. Go. Did some good mods and improvements. So it's all about the good mods. So oh what God. is actually? I have a good. I have a pertinent question. What is the general ethos or morality of most of the people on this group? Um, we've shot one or two people in the back. <laughs> Maybe eight. There, there's, 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 there's been some people hey, gunned down running. You, there's you been but we kept the do. Black Sun guy alive. They were bad guys. If it's worth us, our, it, if it's financially viable for us to make profit off of it, we're more than happy to If it's part of the good. mission. Yeah. I mean, we just don't gun people down. But if it's part of the mission, then... Or if an old lady brandishes, we will shoot her. <laughs> No, no I will shoot her. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, there ran, there was a her. car accident with a truckload full of stolen guns, and an old lady pulled out her holdout. They were stolen. stolen. It's such a harsh word. They were acquired. They were. That's true. They were from a liquidation sale <laughs> <laughs> because the warehouse got liquidated, and, and someone just happened to shoot the old lady because she had it coming. Yeah, like hard, it makes good business sense to make friends with her. You know, we're independent operators, so it's not like. I guess, yeah. I guess what I'm asking is, she what are our obligations to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I thought you were looking like, who, like who are we? I thought you were asking, what is our alignment? Yeah. 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 That, that, that's also good to know, Not but three. I want to know, like, who are we in good. debt to? Um, I am primarily indebted to my sister for keeping me out of slavery and for the uh, and guy who obligation. Did, yeah, I, I, I did take the extra obligation, uh, and the extra obligation was to the to the empire. Uh, I, really? I am hunted because I'm really good at mechanics, and I used to work for the empire, just like mm -hmm. like like, uh, like normal services to 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 keep their stuff. Mm -hmm. And I looked at something that I shouldn't have. You opened oh. that. I, I I looked at the uh, the blueprints and. Uh, was therefore also put on the hit list. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were techie people and being cozy. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's an yeah. obsession of mine, you might say. When uh, it says double click to open, it's telling you it wants to be open. If there's a password on it, it's just challenging your ability to break it. No dribble. Hey, they're just as curious. <laughs> so you went with the 10 10 10? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, ten ten or five ten. Five ten. Or five five. five ten. Well, no. it's it's five ten. Is it ten for the extra and then you can, five? Well, it's five and five. You can, or, you, or ten total on yeah. the one debt. That's just one debt, right? For a total of ten. So okay. your starting obligation. So I, I took the extra yeah. obligation. So right. it's ten. Yeah. So it's okay. ten. At, at ten. ten obligation says ten. Okay. So you, mine split. Don't we have a a required obligation of five, and then you can take five right, right. more? Right. Mine, I took five on top. Yeah. Right. But mine's like two places. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, because no, you mine, can then split them all up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So so my primary one is to the big one is to the empire, and the starting one, uh, the basic one that we were supposed um, to have, was that one what, the one that was given to us? Or well, no, you can make it a ten level. Right. Yeah, you can stack oh, yeah, on yeah. top of that one, okay. so it's even worse. So it just means that you keep poking the bear. Yeah, that's fine. So, now you just so, keep... so me and the Empire, we're not on good terms. Well, then we'll get so we need to keep... Well, he's small enough was... to fit in the smuggling bag. Yeah, that, that was well, what he said. That, was my, that was my major question, though, because I didn't want anyone else over here being all like, Yay, Empire, we're going to work for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, and no. <laughs> you'll hear a little bit more Empire jumping around. So. <laughs> hey! Just because I want to kill them doesn't mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I've got a bounty on me from the from the Empire because they want me to uh, answer for things yeah. that I should I allegedly did. Right. You shouldn't have opened that email. Yeah. No, it wasn't an email. It was an encrypted file. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if that's the same file that I hacked by us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can always exchange notes later. <laughs> <laughs> What is the time period? Basically, it's right after A New Hope. Okay. So the first Death Star has so been right destroyed. So every, you know, the Empire's a little on edge right now. The, the rebellion and, and, has. And, and the rebellion's kind of shown their colors that they're actually going fairly militant after Rogue One and A New Hope. Because mm -hmm. that, that really does make them seem to be a lot more militant yeah. if you put the two together. Yeah. Rather than, hey, we blew up a Death Star. Hey, we attacked your freaking uh, Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> 
Does everyone get stressed? Everyone will be getting stressed. Yay! <laughs> so uh, you actually will be taking two stress. Yay! Everyone else will be taking one stress. Because I roll 14. Uh, What's that? Four? Yeah. Stress? Basically, Why are we taking strain? You're taking strain because his obligations come up, which oh. means during this game session, ah. something to do with his obligation will be coming up. Oh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, that's why, but... maybe that's what he's doing for smuggling ship. You know what? Friends. That's entirely possible. <laughs> so, my being a slicer, I work for a hut, and while tinkering, I found files from the Empire and found they were heading our direction. So, I jumped ship, sliced onto a transport to get off planet, leaving the hut. <laughs> oh, so you have a hut? So you guys well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I got yeah, a hut left. still alive that's turned and gave the Empire information, or they shot first and didn't ask questions, and the Empire's after me. It could be either one. He was working cool. for a hut, and also he won free tickets to Fast and Paradise. Well, I just got them, you know, it's like, oh, they're coming to the hut base. I'm leaving. So the Empire showing up to us going, what are you talking about? As ISS agents are popping with their words, and why are you having yeah. our stuff? You know? And then I owe a debt to the transport because they But not me. Inquisitors, right? We don't have to worry about Inquisitors yet. Yeah. I only got a five level <laughs> against the Empire, so but my, other five, my other five is to get to the transport. They caught me, mm-hmm. so I told them I'd help them at the end time needed, uh, you know, hacking services or slicing services. And the Empire killed his family. Yes, they do. I was, I was a scout was a on their side, and then all of a sudden I had to go do a mission on, on a planet, uh, my planet, my home planet, and then they were like, hey, so the two bad guys are there. We blow up your family now. So they have a the, good vacation. The city hey. hey. <laughs> Sorry, we're blind to you. This thing always says you got grounded. It, 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 you get blamed on the terrorists, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yes. Yeah, the Empire. Gone. Okay, so where we left off, oh, the group was making some good inroads with the Dark Sun. Yeah, yeah. Black Sun. Black, Black Sun, not Dark Black Sun. Sun. <laughs> I was talking D&D outside there with the third guy, so, you yeah. know. Okay, with Black Sun. And they asked for you guys to meet them on the planet Org Mantel. You know, it's a fairly scum and villainy-ish kind of planet, but it is, of course, clearly under Imperial you know, control. And basically, you were explained by uh, the handler from the Black Sun that this is basically to test you guys out kind of thing. You know, see how good you guys are to work with the Black what, Sun. What, us taking him hostage and all of his men and killing off all his men wasn't resume enough? <laughs> well, it was enough to prove you're competent, not that you're trustworthy. Oh, okay. there, there, there's morning. the levels of yeah. how much do we trust you? Gotcha. Okay. Just because we can kill things. <laughs> so, so the job that they're giving you is fairly simple. You, you show up to Ord Martel. That's what, what the, he's getting dropped off at the safe house. You know, he feels okay. He did the, the proverbial handshake to introduce you to some of the Black Sun guys. And they want you to do a very special mission. Exceptionally special. Take these gourmet loft melons and deliver them to, to a uh, station for them. We're delivering groceries. All right. Gourmet groceries. Gourmet groceries. Gourmet yes. groceries. It's, cash. it's basically a, a straight up easy run. The only difference is you're going through Shadow Port, it's a Shadow Station. Basically, it's a scum and villainy place. The, the Imperials usually don't know about it. You know, there might be some Imperial presence. Is the fee worth our? It, it's two thousand credits for the delivery. Plus, you're going to be introduced to someone who's going to have some more jobs for you with, with the Black Sun. Okay. Because you know they're, 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 it, they, the Black Sun pretty much controls uh, Gandenta Station. But they're always looking to import new personnel that are interested in getting their name known with Black Sun. And uh, they've even got an uh, additional member that uh, might be handy to bring with you guys. <laughs> okay. All right. That, you know, it's an outlaw tech that uh, wants to get off the world for some reason. Where's he at? Addressed it in some special <laughs> oh, way. We're all talking, right? <laughs> well, I'm not. No, your are So, of course, you get introduced to uh, a draw technician. You could hide behind my cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do you introduce yourself to the groups? I think he doesn't. He he's going to be rather quiet and in the background and observing. Okay. You, you're just standing there in the corner. No problem. You, can come with. you get that 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 let down the interstellar. Yeah. <laughs> 
the tip of the hat that doesn't t doesn't involve too much information being leaked accidentally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're good. Just uh, don't be modding my ship without saying something. I was just saying. <laughs> so yeah, don't mod my ship without. <laughs> <laughs> Like don't don't break my things. Right. We'll be good. Okay. Don't break my things. Don't, don't break my over. ship. We'll be good. Don't get over cracked. <laughs> don't grab my gun. You'll be okay. <laughs> don't get crafty, kid. Don't get crafty. <laughs> okay. So basically, you guys, you know, the, the cargo so, so melon. Like right. I mean, melons. Are basically, we these about are about uh, fourteen crates of loaf melons. Oh. Okay. These little. But basically, think of them as cantaloupes, but with stripes instead of you know, the creepy web pattern that they have. Yeah, and basically, have... it's it's kind of time sensitive because they're they're cool but not refrigerated in these units, so they don't go bad. Okay. And okay. you know, you know that sometimes these are delicacies during certain times of the season, and pretty much right now is that time of the season. Peak. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You want to help me do an astrogation? I would love to help. So he's going to. So you use an intelligence of five plus your skill ranks. Okay, so then intelligence five would give me five more green. So you, you start with five green die, which is my intelligence, and then they're and then that's upgraded by your skill ranks. Which is which is one, I think. So so four green and a yellow. And you get a blue because I'm a draw. Oh, um, right. The trolls are all about especially when you hear about the and it's gonna be against four purple, by the way. Four purple Four purple, because it's almost like this is an off the beaten path kind of place that people aren't supposed to stumble in front of, hence for the shadow port. I'll throw with us. Mm -hmm. I'm so crikey. <laughs> oh. Nike. Um, okay, that's three failures. <laughs> but, but, I got a, you know, a... Something? I got like five, six, I got five, you know, advantages. So, but I got three failures. So, so how would you like to use the advantages when you're coming out of, you know, you guys have plotted your course, you got your vehicle all loaded up. I want more blue dye to find it again. <laughs> and real quick before we leave, I and we get loaded, I do a security scan. Use my security scanner on the crates. Okay. Recording or uh, you, you actually places. do pick up the the it's basically just organics inside there. There's no signals, no trackers, okay. no nothing like that. Okay. And that there is a, a special uh, blue light scanner on the side of the crate. So it says one thing in the crate, but if you like wave a blue light and scan it, it, it comes up with something slightly. Different. Okay. Basically, it's a. a Black Sun way of branding stuff. Right, right, so right, right. It's a okay. little clandestiny in the in the what's okay. in the supply crate. But no funky, inky, uh, yeah, no trackers, or nothing, nothing like that. They're all detonators. <laughs> <laughs> They're all detonator melons. They're delicacies. Yes. During certain parts of the year. <laughs> Very spicy melons. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay, so uh, you, drop us? you guys get all ready to go. You're doing your thing. All of a sudden, you know, you get you know, fly out of you know. Or my town, <laughs> set your course, your pilot does a It's going to be about 12 hours on the trip. Everything's cool. Why is it always 12? <laughs> 12 is a fairly good standard amount of time. <laughs> Unless she wants to push the engines. Yes. She really? probably doesn't want to push the yeah. engines with the pig. Yeah. Especially, oddly like, enough, I think I got the about three hours in the hyperspace, without warning, you get, well, without warning for her, really, because the warning klaxon starts popping off, and you pop out of light speed. Uh, gravity well or gravity well? Fuck. Okay. And it's <laughs> sorry. Oh, I wow! Heard I'm proud of her. She was good. She, she was. was. You're okay. Do you guys know what a gravity well is? Yes, no. it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> gravity well on Imperial uh, um, uh, large class vehicles, they have something called a gravity well, which will pull ships out of light speed. Basically, they just they're knocking on our door. Can I help you with coordination here? <laughs> no, 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 no. So immediately you guys like you're all chilling and relaxing and boom you feel the, 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 the inertia of popping out of light speed. Now we don't know yet that he's wanted by the empire. No, no. <laughs> I've let out a little bit of my background, but <laughs> and immediately you're noticing that it's, it's basically an imperial blockade out there. Now if somebody wants to do computers and hit the scanner. Well that's what I was just saying. Yes, scanning. please. Uh huh. Okay. Gets uh, three purple. Can I give him an aid? I have. Dude, would would you like to use my intel my intellect for your roll? You get two more green. Yeah, yeah. you get two more green. And a blue. Okay, it's a blue. It's funny because both the hackers start immediately getting together and then this, this hacker bonding moment. 
Well, that's a triumph. Woohoo! And it's, uh. Oh, yeah, you did well. I was saying. Those take <laughs> out. And we got one success and uh, four advantage and a triumph. Wow. What are you doing? Oh, no, sorry, that. Yeah, sorry, that. So immediately when you come out, the two of you jump into the computer consoles, and you, you're you new to the ship, but you got the Wi-Fi password, so you're pulling out your data pad, and you guys are doing the, the hacker thing, where immediately they're just like a blur on their keyboards. And immediately just data info is dumping on everybody's monitors of, you know, hey, there's this ship with the gravity well generator generating from this direction with the gravity. So you immediately know how to avoid the gravity well you just hit. Okay. The, with the Triumph, it's just that amazing that they're <laughs> projecting exactly this is where you got pulled out. By the way, you only need to pull a quick left to get there. You go right back to light speed. Okay. And basically, you notice that, that this is obviously some kind of uh, blockade area where they're just inspecting vehicles because you see a line of vehicles being inspected. By who? The Empire. By the Empire. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which, some of you may be sweating bullets when you get, realize you just got basically hit by a roadside check. Oh, yeah. Sobri roadside sobriety <laughs> check. Like, so I'm, not I'm not an affluent alcohol. <laughs> and, of course, immediately you're starting to get the automated system of, you know, police release controls. You will be tracked to into the waiting line. Sorry for the inconvenience, Imperial, and it cites a bunch of citations of what they're expecting yeah. for. If you read about them, like, and, and there's like there's there's uh, <laughs> just all these reasons why they're giving you why they, they may or may not be having this blockade. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, okay. So obviously I know how to cut and run. You, with his triumph, you know exactly the course okay. you can. I'm gonna you cut can just do then. one quick pilot check to get the hell out of there if you like. Um, it's only against two purple because he gave you all the goodness. Oh and yeah, of course, where the ships are, who's doing what. <laughs> He's like, here's your plotted course. You hit the button. The commander's on the toilet at the moment. So <laughs> <go> on. <laughs> and they've yet to ping your ship. Uh, I succeeded. Wow. You succeeded. But I wow. did get two threats. So strange. You want to change or... out your dice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with my dice. <laughs> well, you did take two of my purple and add them to your group. So you never no, no, your purple's back. Are you sure those are the purple? <laughs> Are these the purple dice you are looking for? So the ship is going to take some strain. So uh, okay. you've got two strains. So, I mean, two two disadvantages. Yeah. So one strain to the ship. Two threats. As you're literally, the ship is creaking because you're gu you're gu you're just gunning it and heading back to hyperspace. Okay. Now go ahead and reroll your astro navigation roll. All right. Wait. Now there is going to be a black dice because you're panicked in a hurry and you're punching numbers. Fortunately, you're off your mark. You went right. the same. Uh, it's the same roll. Yep. You know what? I'm the same. Oh. Yeah. Don't forget the blue dice that he gives. Yeah. 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 Help yeah. I like helping people. I'm good at yep. it. Yep. <laughs> Moral support. It was four black dice, right? Or four purple, right? Four purple. And you upgraded your dice to the light dice. Yeah. Oh. That was rough. That was rough. Yeah. All right. That's okay. pretty good. All right, first off, <laughs> let's gonna get rid of all of that. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all of that. We're gonna get rid of that because those two counteract those. So what we got here is uh, three successes and four advantages. How would you like to spend it? Successes, you're doing it. I can't get rid of the strain though, right? Oh, no, yeah, no, we'll that's a that. that's a damage um, to the ship. Type of thing. All right. Um, you can regain some personal strain with your two advantages. Yeah, I'll take that and my next and uh, Blue on my uh, next astronomication. Oh, well, well, if you, you made this one, so you, you're going, you're beelining right to where you need to go. I was say. Matter of fact, you knocked a couple parcels off the course. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you're like, hey guys, sorry about the estimate for 12 hours before. It's really just going to be a six-hour total trip. Yeah. With a little three side, three hours. With, with a little side uh, viewing. Yep, that, that, that three hour. A little bit of motivation. <laughs> right into, uh, yeah, but, but just the motivation I needed to. Uh, e ticket ride. Yeah. A little okay. pucker factor. So, so since you guys got a little time to kill, and you're probably hitting the food on the ship beforehand. I'm fixing the strain. Okay, you're gonna do a quick uh, repair work on the ship. Yeah. He has really good mechanics. I think you should ask him. Well, whichever. Well, well, you, can you can help. You can work together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got two and one, so. Yeah. Whichever, whichever, whichever one of us do the string. Actually, was string computer or was it uh, mechanic? Mechanics. I think string. Yeah, because he's got two yellow and three green. 
I thought stream was a computer. Is Mechanics it? is. Ah. I'm trying to find what page was that on. It is. Okay, here we go. Um, That's the ship section. So it's not go. conveniently located here in the uh, damage skill control. section. Let's see. System strain. So, yeah, so damage control. This action is attempt to mitigate some of the stress caused by vehicle systems or combat accidents. Using this action, a player character makes a successful unknown oh, is mechanics. Mm -hmm. oh. system strain. Okay. I thought it was, for some reason I was thinking it was computer. Don't think okay, it's think it's just zero. Is it easy or average? Uh, it's going to be just average. Which okay. is how many? The, the two purple. Two purple. It's the thing. That's so difficult. Yeah, it's yeah I don't have any drops. Yeah, I have four successes to advantage. Oh, hell yeah. Well, we're back to zero. Yeah, so you're basically showing off your tech stuff, like, hey, I can fix I'm useful! Too. I'm oh, watching! Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching! You're what making sure all the repairs are legit and not just made to look good. Yeah. You're like, okay, this guy's got some skills, he's got some chops. Okay, so literally on time, you know, you even shaved a few extra minutes off, you guys, you know, get ready to come out of light speed. Any preparations beforehand? Um, do we, uh, since this is a shadow moon and stuff, a shadow uh, port. Shadow port. Um, did the Black Sun provide us a transponder or yes, some Yes, they uh, did give you, you a <coughs> special phrase to say when they ask who you are for their, their spaceship command control okay. of what the, the special passphrase is. Well, we didn't have that ready. Okay. So you came from the dark side of some moon? No. <laughs> okay, so you hit the little slide bar, you guys come out of light speed, little shadow port space station. It's got a little business going back and forth with ships. It's got a really organized system of command and control of how to get on and get a station. Now, are you guys wanting to just dock or do you want an actual uh, hangar? Maybe you get in out really. Because they can tether you outside and you have to like spacesuit in. I think or, that hangar. Or you can just dock in, and basically it's your yeah, airlock. airlock. We or there's a hangar where you can fly your ship in. We want a hangar. Okay. Yeah, it'd be easier to unload, unfortunately. But and then the question so is, are you going to pay for but... the hangar? So, well, that's not included in your money. What? Then should we just dock? What's, what's the hangar fee? It, it'll be 800 credits a day. Well, if we dock, less likely chance for people to get to our ship. Well, yeah. that was kind of my one thought there. Just... So we'll just dock. I mean, you could always have someone try to negotiate the fees for, for a hangar. Try to drop it down. What's, what's well, talking fee? Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's 800 credits a day. Because basically, what well, for a hangar, what about yeah. docking? For docking, you could just dock on one of the ports. But oh, you, have okay. to, you have to one day of docking, and then you have to basically take off and not dock. It's basically a loading and unloading only kind of thing. Yeah, this zone is for loading and unloading. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 see, the reason why hang, people do hangers is you can oh, use a hangar and set up a shop in the hangar, sell your wares, and then leave. Yeah, we need some too, so. Let's yeah. Let's unload our thing. So let's not. Hey, I kill things, okay. man. <laughs> hey, yeah, what you My doing? shop is to say, here's the things. We're dropping off some groceries and then we'll just. Yeah. So okay. We'll, I can so stand guard at the, the airlock the porthole. Okay. But, so but. You guys are given the the approach vector to get to the airlock. Okay, and then you get a little automated message, which seems a little odd. And it is. It's basically an imperial s inspector schedule. Hmm. I'm gonna on a shadow port, yeah. Give the secret message. What would you do? Um, <laughs> does the, can the slicer pick anything out of it? Like secret coding? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you want to do computer, the message. Do the computers. Do the computers. Yeah, what am I against? It's only two purple. Ooh, this is a fairly safe, above board message. You're going to open the file up. Triumph. Triumph. Two wow. successes. As you slice this, this is. Totally standard imperial code, the type of thing that's straight out of academy that people are given. That this is the cordial introduction email that an inspector would send out to, to, to you know folks of, hi, I'm Inspector So and So. I'm here to inspect your craft. What time and in, in location is handy for you? It's and it's and as an imperial inspector thing, it's really super friendly. It, it's it's almost then it can't be imperial. Yeah, exactly, it's lacking the whole. How much are you gonna bribe me to knock into your ship? But it is a legitimate imperial 
inspectors, you know, flag. So let's give them like two minutes after we leave. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good. asking if you're bringing your taking off, you know, any shipments. Yeah, get us up, drop whatever the code is in there. Okay. So you basically, are you, are you saying that you're just dropping off, you know? Dropping off and picking up. <laughs> <laughs> so so what what auto reply are you gonna to give to the, the, the econ message? Well I'll let it I mean, know. You try and tell you get hacked the damn message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well Go ahead, have fun. Return <laughs> to the center. <laughs> You've already inspected us and <laughs> we're well, go. with, well I was gonna say with the triumph can I basically tell it we're all clear and done and Yeah. Well, okay. Dude, it's a trial. This is yeah. not the ship you're looking for. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is not the ship you're looking thanks. for. Thanks, we this appreciate is not the your great service <laughs> and the inspection. <laughs> is awesome. And yeah. uh, hey, thank you for playing. <laughs> and you me. send it back in such a way that his his, his Holonet account it's going to be basically filed as complete. Uh -huh. Okay, so yep. this really nice guy won't even know to look at your ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nerd. Right. <laughs> okay, so you guys make contact uh, with your contact for for offloading the shipment. Okay, you basically send the message, and it's a, a Twi'lek, you know, kind of skeezy looking Twi'lek guy. And he's like, you know, hey, you got my message. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, got some buyers already lined up for those special melons. Yeah, we got your fruits. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fruits. And he's like, you know, sending you lucky messages of, ah, so you brought the special melons? <laughs> yeah. I brought the fruit. <laughs> the other special melons are not on the menu. Oh, this tentacle goes, melon. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he basically tells you he'll be outside the airlock that you're at, you know, with, with a hover car to take the items and to take you to his, you know, location because, you know, you heard you guys are looking for more work and, mm -hmm. you know, there's actually, this is a great place for opportunity. Yes, that's tentacle. Air quotes. Like <laughs> opportunity. Like you yeah. air quotes. Yeah. Like okay. air quotes. <laughs> so he basically, you know, he, he time bips your door and, you know, hey, he's here. He's got uh, four guys that look like just labor guys, you know, hard on your luck spacer types that you've got the hover carts to fill up. Okay. okay. You bring people to load? Yeah. yeah he, oh. he, if you're going to open the door and let them on, they will, they will do all the load. Does okay. he have the credits on the dev stick first? Uh, actually, as soon as you basically talk to him, he'll hit the button and the person who gave you the melons will change the credits. Okay. So you see the money come in as soon as he signs that he signed for, and he's like, "So where are the special melons?" <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he like takes his data pad and he shines a ultraviolet light on the thing and hits the scan button and finds out this is not the load of special melons he was expecting. These are, these are actually just melons. Yeah, <laughs> these aren't the special melons. <laughs> These are the special melons these we the, were given. These are the gourmet melons we were told to bring. Okay, I guess I can still sell these. And he basically, <laughs> he's, he's asked you guys to get on hover vehicles to, to zip through the, the port to his little shop. Okay, secure and lock down the ship. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> do your usual special measures. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anything puts, special uh, you guys taking off the ship? Locks on the so right now. Uh, uh, our ship is called the Disruptor, by the way. So yeah. I am, but I'm keeping my uh, hold up pistol in a uh, the model of, uh, 58 concealed concealed holster. Okay, so you notice there's zero weapon checks for you guys getting on the, on the board here. Well, it's, it's like not an imperial space. Yeah. So. Even yeah. though it's funky that there's an imperial inspector on this place, it's yeah. pretty funky. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who did he piss off to get here? Right. Bring Galley out with me. Okay. My shield droid. Right. <laughs> okay, so you guys are zipping through the station. It's a pretty, you know, robust, up to date station. There's lots of little, you know, shops built up on the side of the area. There's there's you know, nobody's like really, really clean or really, really sparkly high tech, but people are just getting by. Okay. You know. And you notice a lot of people doing the whole, hey, check out my wares. So, <laughs> you know, some person opens a robe and says, hey, check out this. And it's like some younglings that they're selling, you know. Oh, all, all, all various levels hey, of black marketeering. <laughs> oh. Gosh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, yeah. so, you know, you, after a while, you know, you guys are kind of confused from the weird path that you guys take and a couple lifts to take you up levels. And, you know, the, the 
Twilight guy, he's, he's, he's curious about you guys. I told him no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So he says no. Uh, so, so, no. Yeah. so, where are you from? No. <laughs> About. So, so he, she, his name is Tavel. He, he basically runs the local black market here, here for the black sun. Oh, okay. You know, we, we, we've got a good setup here, you know, uh, we've got a nice fledgling market started. Mostly this is independent markets here, but the black sun's wanting to be a little more organized here. Okay. So, uh, what kind of skill sets do you guys have? You need it. We can get it. Are we interviewing? Let me let me can I clarify. You're getting that this? feel. He's basically he's, he's feeling out of what kind of work do I need to find for you guys? He's doing the whole Mr. Fix It type thing. Oh. You kind of got all the skills you might need, or can find it. We're capable. You know, you need it ran, yeah. hidden, taken, killed. Killed. Uh, <laughs> Destroyed red mist. <laughs> Murder, death, kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stab and throw. We are licensed. Uh, so, I, I don't need anyone murdered right now, but it's good to know that you can provide that service. We can't be friendly anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, after we deliver this shipment, I do have another procurement that I could use you as some backup. What type of procurement? I'm receiving a shipment of art pieces that have been already purchased by a client. So I need to ensure the procurement and transfer. So backup, what does backup entail exactly? Yes, you all seem thuggishly efficient with your big guns and your shifty eyes and your dangerous silent killer look. <laughs> <laughs> we typically, typically we take the lead, so we just kind of want to know exactly what backup Basically, if anyone tries to kill me, you kill them first. Yeah, I'm good at that. Okay, so, uh, I start, uh, is there any way I can head back to the ship to get something? No, you can if you want to, which basically you're going to be going on get foot. Yeah, just a Although you're really smart, you might be remember the way. Maybe. Because uh, I, I need my sniper here so that I can stay away. Ah, uh, just... Did you mention sniper rifle? He basically said, no, no, no. The, the, this, the, this is just going from, from different hangers to different hangers, so we don't have any room for s fancy sniper rifles. That's very good to know you have that skill set. And you seem like we've had a little death hazard typing some things down. It's like, yeah. oh, this is sniper. We have an eclectic set of skills. Eclectic. <laughs> He's like, you, you, you notice he's like, anytime you guys are actually saying anything that might be revealing, he's a little, doing a little clip of into his little dad's head. And then he's like, ah, the melon market's actually doing very good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stir a false rumor that melons are contaminated right now. See if we can drive up their value. Oh. Oh, and you see a little uh, sign. Actually, that would deter people from buying melons because well, they're he said that his is the good. And oh, or if he's yeah. saying that the places where the but melons are growing, growing oh, got contaminated, so that the next batch won't be happening. Just say that yeah. that the, the harvest is the last you know, really good harvest. Yeah, there's it's very weak harvest, so. Get them while you can. In imperial tides require them to get the There we go. Yeah. They need to get the imperial melons <laughs> first. Yeah. So you want like to get imperial melons. They're in short there's supply. There's actually an imperial blockade that is checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a thing. <laughs> we saw it. You can ask him, actually ask him. Okay. Briefly. Let, let's we ask him, him uh, what does he know about the imperial blockade on our way? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> Which we be thanks to you. Maybe, maybe also <laughs> on that note, why there's an imperial uh, security guy that that waved us when we first showed up on the place. yeah. So uh, he basically will tell you that uh, he, he you know he whips out where you guys are on this drive. And he's like, oh, that imperial blockade. Apparently, there's a group of pilgrims that came down with a disease that they're stopping and inspecting for. None of you feel sick, I hope. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not gonna and you see one 
of his drivers like puts on a breathing mask. <laughs> <laughs> the paranoid little. I'm gonna put this on. Okay. Is he related to the uh, pilot? No, the Guido dude that we had as a driver. Go for it. So you're gonna use your force sensitive. Oh my two god! Men. Wow. You are just he like... only rolls two life. <laughs> yeah, so far. He's <laughs> like... all on the good side. This is like phenomenal. One with the force. The okay. <laughs> there you go. You, of course, you're detecting Apparently. a lot of, of life form share. But from him, you're getting, you know, he's actually quite happy to have you next. To him. He's good. There's a, a amount of serenity he's feeling with your company. Okay. That for some reason he's super at ease now. But, you know, so, so he's, he's, you know, doing his thing in his dad's head, and he's like, oh, oh, interesting. So I like see what it'd be to slice and uh, mirror his dad down on mine. Oh. <laughs> you could try. It would be four per one. Since well, it is you know, a company data out. pad. We're in the same car, right? Yeah. <laughs> huh? like, like, would I be able to help him without him noticing? You get, you're, well, he's in like the front seat. You guys are in the you back. You can always go say, hey, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> you know, you can start sending in some messages back and forth to each other, you know, texting each other, hey, let's hack this guy. Yeah. Hackers are <laughs> hackers of the Star Wars universe. Hackers are Hackers are nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the Had man. Beat the planet. Do you want to try? Go for it. Four, huh? Yep. Well, you get the blue for him helping. You um, get something else. Wow. No, I you don't have enough dice yet. You don't. You're missing like. Yeah, you're missing some green from him. Yeah, two green. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. See? So she put the dark side. Too late. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, you should have, but you didn't. I didn't. Don't yeah, forget your green over here. Yeah, I know. So well, that's three success, two, three uh, advantages. Okay, so yeah, you you, you basically hack into his data pad and you've got access to it. Okay. You can even clone it so that way, you know, any messages he receives, you receive as well. Sure. Okay, so okay. basically yeah. you two are sitting there snickering back and forth <laughs> to each other. <laughs> that, hey, look, the two of us just hacked his data pad while he's busy checking stock prices on melons. And sending a message that you read saying, so where's my uh, crate of disruptor rifles that were supposed to be in the shipment? Ah. And then he gets a reply <clears throat> back that, you know, well, well, we were just testing these guys to make sure in case they betrayed us, we wouldn't lose anything of value. And then, of course, she sends a message back saying, you know, things are going good here. We've had a few interruptions in business, but things seem to be going well. The, sh the special shipment should be arriving today. We'll be using the new assistants to help uh, ensure the procurement of the uh, items. Oh, so they're coming from the art supply. Yeah. Well, the art supply is, is, the, is the disruptor pistols as well. No, no, no. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's art. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to us, there's only two certain members of our crew, yes. <laughs> da, da, they look da, quite da, well da. on the wall. Whoosh, yeah, whoosh, you know, whoosh. actually, uh, the uh, droid, when she used the disruptor, she made quite pretty artwork oh, on yeah. that, <laughs> that red mist. Red. I'm sorry, is it like short? We ran on top of people. <laughs> well, that's the thing. She was in a crate when the guy opened the well, crate. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that was genius. That was good. Yeah. The, the, the it's not droid. like someone's going to suffocate with your droid. Yeah. Why is there no droid in this crate? What the hell? Yeah, so basically, they, they stop back in his little market. They unload the crates, and he basically tells them, put two crates out for sale and put the rest in the, in the uh, refresher. So that way everything's kept nice and you know, discreetly mm -hmm. hidden away. And, and, and the uh, price will go up with each crate. And he's basically given this whole price, scaling price, that with each crate the price will go up more and more because, you know, hey, there's less and less melons. <laughs> and then one of those start bringing melons out two at a time and refilling the crate. <laughs> we create supply and we make the exactly. Supply. Okay, so he basically tells you guys load up, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna, he's going to have his two drivers once you guys want to drive. Well, that is driver's drive. I'll be busy. Okay. <laughs> he has a place, but I can drive. Okay. Planetary is not as good as my space, but... <clears throat> okay. So basically, he's, you know, he tells you what hangar you guys are going to head to. He just wants you to kind of like head back and look menacing. You know, because, you know... I'm really good at that. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just give up the sun. Uh, well, just, he really likes your, well, your stone cold killer. I do silence. have a lot of. Hey, uh, a lot of people detonators. are afraid of small dogs. <laughs> so. <laughs> like the, well, I, I, I might be a giant squirrel, but I have a lot of frag grenades. So. There we go. <laughs> Explosives are scary. Bandolier yeah. of frag grenades. Thank yeah. you, actually. <laughs> Bandoliers of grenades are intimidating as <laughs> shit, in my opinion. That's just me. I'll just scowl. No no, it's something you're supposed to like bend over and like, you know, bend and snap. Bend and snap. <laughs> With the leku, yeah. With the leku. I'll All be a distraction. distractions. Work okay. my charm. So you guys get up to there and he, you know, his data pad, he types in a little number, the hangar opens up automatically, and there's a ship there, it's a little white so fifteen hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basically, it's his, his override code for the hangar. This yeah. is obviously one of their hangars. I think it goes into a little side folder. Okay. <laughs> Subdirectory. <laughs> Save for later. We now have a hangar access code. And uh, you see a really scruffy crew of spacers. They're sitting there with Nerf their herders. couple crates. Ah, sorry. And, you know, you notice that the, the, there's... there's you know, big crowd outside, but that's because there's a lot of people selling stuff. And you can tell this crew of their ship are selling in a little... That they said oh, okay. so. so they're selling some wares that they carry. You know, nothing fancy, just a bunch of art trinkets and scrimshaw stuff. And uh, you come in, they've got their crates all ready into a pile at the front of the room. Okay. And uh, he gets out and he does the, that charming smile. My friends, you brought exactly what we're looking for. I see you have the exact number of crates. Now, if you would only be so kind as to open one. And, and you notice they're kind of like hesitant to help, and uh, you kind of, you know, which one of you guys has the highest brawn? Yeah. It's got to be these it guys. Is not I. <laughs> I have a two. He's a one. Three. You have a three. Wait, you have a two? I have a two. I, have two. I, was, I was loading up stuff earlier. I have three. I have the highest brawn. He, he's, yeah. he, he's got kind of gesture to you to come over here and open one of the crates. There's There's over there. I come over with my security scanner and do okay. a sweep for surveillance and... Oh, no. which with the sweeper it says make an average computer check to discover presence of or location of recording or espionage devices within medium range oh interesting go for it unless you want yeah. to hire for some reason oh, no, no, I'm going with that so I'd say success and two and two successes two successes and two, and two um, okay so your scanner is immediately painting off that one of these crates is sending out a signal Ah. The can you determine the signal? Well, yeah, basically it's sending out a, a tracker signal. Ah. Okay, I kind of like the guy. Is it the one that he's opening, asked to open, or is it? No, no, it's it's, it's one of the bottom crates. Okay, I can't really come over to the guy if you know. No, just tell me, and I can tell him oh. like he's. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Wait. That way it's less... Sure, sure. Okay. So, okay. so you're also pinging off that the guy that seems to apparently be in charge of these, these spacers, you're getting a ping off his him personally that there's a transponder trans, transcending signal. Okay. And the, the, there's surveillance in this hangar that's currently on and running. Okay. Huh. Can you um, so maybe, jam them? Well, yeah. we'll see what he wants to do with okay. that. Relay that to her so, yeah. on the side. You're, you're I'm going to, yeah, because what is the there's no other twilights here, right? Yeah, it's just the two of you. Yeah. I'm going to tell him that the bottom, or the, the specific crate, the bottom one that he told me about, is giving off a transponder ping as well as the guy himself, and the uh, security oh. feed is operational. Do you want us to jam it? Okay, he kind of looks at you and kind of like smiles, the big two feet in hand. And, <laughs> and I'll play up to the fact that they could. And he's, I, I apologize. She can't get enough of me. She's very, very delightful. <laughs> I, 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 I do recommend you you, you get out of your own. So you're so, gonna, and then the like he would you, would no, you open like he's is saying yeah, you will pay great. for that. Um, <laughs> so well after, after you deliver the message, he's kind of ignoring you because he's he, he's giving these guys the the, the, the more shifty eye. And uh, as a good sign of business, open the bottom one as well. No, I'm gonna take a bubble. <laughs> so, so you notice these crates are really, really rural. They're not, you know, the usual steel crates. They're actually like wood crates that have been put together. Oh, you know? Archaic. And so it's like you're like having to crowbar these things open, going really, right? Really? Well, that's why we needed the bra, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So, so you bust open the first crate. He's like, yeah, 
be cautious. We can be, we are very delicate in that. And you notice there's some like pottery and some paintings and some sculptures. You know, one of them looks, he almost looks Jedi ish, if you know much about the Jedi. Looks like a guy holding it, looks like a sword, but the sword's made of a precious metal. Oh. You know, and, and you just see him kind of gaping his eyes, looking at these. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. <laughs> <laughs> and, right. and then you, you bust out the bottom one, you break it up, and it's got like a bunch of tapestries that are all burnt and faded and worn out. You know, they might, you know, if cleaned up, they might have something, you know, on them that, that would reveal something, but they look like they've, they've really seen better days. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, they got, you know, pulled out of a uh, place that's been blown up by a Star Destroyer on the planet. <laughs> oh, <Full of> dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can I see that one that has a um, transmitter signal on it and see if you can also try to do anything to us? Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, a first! So would you like to use that dark side? I mean, sure. Okay, so uh, go ahead and flip one of your light signs dark. So you only have one point to use, so you can sense that the people, you can't get anything specific on them. Right. You need that second. But you do ping that there's about uh, eight guys outside the hangar doors that weren't there before. Oh. Interesting timing that you used the sensing thing. That okay. and, and you sense that they're like hugged against the doors. Like Almost you know, like, like tactical guys are so you ready to... You are packing weapons, right? <laughs> Would you like me to start with grenades? grenades? No, I just have, have a lot of grenades. Okay. Would you like me to start with them? Well, we don't know. Well, we don't know yet. yet. Okay. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. Things are going to get very interesting. No, use your course. Short, like, you're going to be like, yeah. don't hurt me. Use that duro. Duros is okay. Duros are cool. Get some kind of chipmunk figure for next time. Chipmunk figure. Chipmunk figure. Chipmunk figure. Okay, so you guys, you know. And you, you notice that uh, he kind of smiles, you know, the, the main main spacer kind of smiles and says, oh, oh, by the way, uh, since I lost that last bet to you, I have the uh, the agreed upon payment, you know, my, my lucky set of uh, chance dice. And he reaches into his pocket and gives, you know, your Twilight boss these chance dice. And, and of course, you know, you can see that they got some underlying conversation that must have happened in the past that, you know, <laughs> how about uh, uh, we, we roll double or nothing for the bets? And he's like, no, 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 you've got my lucky set of dice. That's, that's I don't trust these dice. I don't either. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay. so so yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to do anything with the information that you know that there's people yeah. encroaching outside the hangar? Oh, yeah. Eight, uh, and they're holding what are you doing with the brain? These guys? The Twilight guy. The, the Twilight guy brought two drivers, that's it. Two drivers. Yep. So it's just the two drivers, him and us. Yeah. And there's eight of them. Plus, how many does he have inside the room? The spacers, there's five of them out there. So there's a, oh my god, so there's a total of 13 the, of them. Oh, that's true. I'm over by the crates. So we'll say this is the crates. He's back there with you yeah. guys. There's a total of 13 of them versus eight of us. So he's probably slightly ahead of you because you guys like to use us as... Meat shields. Because, I mean, I have five. No, you do not bring that with you. No, I'm not That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the one I'm carrying. Well, you can ready it. Is that what your action's going to be? Are you going to ready it? Because I don't think you're going to blast through the door. And I don't think we can trust our, the public of disguised pilots to be very handy. <laughs> I was going to say, so I'm getting my uh, weapon just like up in like a up ready position, like, hi. Are you gone? Like that, the old westerns cocking the gun. Like, everyone knows that sound. Do I recognize he's being acting unusually uh, alert? Perception or what? Uh, would that be vigilance or would that be. be vigilance is what? Vigilance is your. When you're expecting. Yeah, when you're expecting to be ambushed. Cool is, 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 is when you're just, you know, doing that typical just be cool. So here's the hangar, just give an idea. Okay. Here's your two hover vehicles. Okay. Here's the crates. Where's the door that those guys are? That Here's the door. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the yeah, this where you check trucks pulled in. Okay, so they're literally behind us. Yeah, so I like turn around and it's like extra guard. 
So it'd be perception. It looks like cut. characters must maintain or maintain a careful awareness of the environment. So cues that can hint at immediate danger or imminent danger, unexpected advantages. Perception skill uh, represents the character's constant passive state of awareness. So you guys have been with him long enough. I'll give him that he could signal you guys just as a, a freebie that, that there's some kind of signal. Okay. Well, obviously, he's like, I'll be safe. He's bringing... Oh, well, he loves those guns, though. You know, he's like a bunch of sci-fi movies. So, as I've seen him doing that, I'm definitely bringing up Bertha. Okay, um, so where are you guys going to park yourselves? Um, Bertha's going to park over at the crate. right? Yeah, so, so we're so you turning all towards the door? Yeah, I'm turning towards the door. Well, we're towards the door, like, kind of like, like okay, so far, we're which far, which is like the Twilight and him at the crates. Right. We're not parking. behind them, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to park over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to park over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this a control that, door? That's basically a small door that you, oh, people can walk in and out of. Whereas well, this is the big garage size door. Is there a control panel for the room that there, is easily visible? Yes. Right. So there's a control panel here, control panel here, and a control panel here. And they're all in a fairly good, good serviceable order. Plus there's a crane system in the ceiling that can be moved around to lift up, you know, drop a little hook that you normally would have like a claw. But in this case, it's 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 old tech, which is a hook. You have tight cables, and you can use that to throw this stuff. What type of ship do they have? It, it's a, a YT thirteen hundred that was drawn really poorly. Okay. <laughs> well, I kind of thought it was, but it's a droid control ship. Only scale that. She's all like, about stealing ships. You'll learn that really quick. She's like, well, no, because I'm worried about anybody who's on the ship. If there's other That's ones. what I'm saying. I would like to do like what are the what are the, all right? So I ready my weapon because I see Jack ready his or Bash ready his weapon. Okay, yeah. so you're, you're right. dropping the Sorry. crowbar right. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, We're you feel around the crate. You see the little blinking thing at the bottom, and you're like, what? <laughs> okay. okay, definitely not. I'll make my way to the control panel. Your, I'll go to this one. Okay. Right by the door? Yes. Okay. okay, so you guys are going to opposite ends, okay? So all right. You're going to walk up past, all right. So you guys are all kind of... Speaking. So where are, where are the guys from the ship? Two of them are right, over two here. Right, two there. And There's probably at least one or two there. Those oh, in a straight line? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave! <laughs> You know, what are they doing? They do not seem to be threatening at the moment. Yeah, and like I said, I'm just casually kind of right. quickly but casually walking to that other control panel. Okay, so you walk over to the control panel. You, you, you get ready to pull out your little data stick and put it in there. And you do the same thing. Right. Right. Whip out your little USB and pop it in there. They're kind of giving you guys a look like, what are you guys doing? Uh, the, 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 the guy who's obviously in charge of you kind of like this, but... Casual, move my hand to my belt loop near my pistol because I don't like the way you guys are like all spread around the room here. And he, I'll he, drop him. Don't. Like, don't. Okay, don't test him. Yeah, okay, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys want me to do a distraction? No. Well, I just. Well, I'm ready. You know what, who we are, and you can trust us. Yeah. You can probably reassure him. Uh-huh. Yeah, Twilight. Like if you want to be no, like, no, hey, they had something is up. Okay. Something yeah. is not right. And, and he's he's obviously giving you a reply. Of, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Um, and so as you see him, you my boys like, know he's that playing with these chance dice. Just got. It's know. like, well, first of all, I'm gonna tell him I don't trust anything that he's giving you right now. So I don't know what's with the dice, but don't trust him. Uh, and um, my boys are about ready to throw down because they know something's up. Wow. Very expressive on this one. Oh, bees can't eat your heart out. <laughs> um, okay. So, the guys that don't seem menacing, like... They're, they don't seem to be threatening, except for the leader. Obviously, he's picking up on this whole, you guys got your guns ready. I think you guys are going to ambush us and I kill us. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> So I, I go through the other, like, I'm going to, like, see, can I, like, sense what the other two are trying to do? Like, You're going to try that again? Yeah. You're going to try that again? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Two lights like that, so. All right. Which one are you, who are you sensing on? Yeah, what are you? Outside the door. Uh, the, the, the leader of them or the ones that are outside? Oh, uh, leader. Cause... Okay, you're sensing that he wants to leave. He wants to get out of here with the skin intact. 
He's I like, he just mind. wants to complete business and leave in his ship right now because so. he's seeing two heavy hitters with their guns that look like they might kill the crap out of them right now. Since you guys all have all kinds of weapons and they've just got like blasters on their side. So I, I grab him by his shoulder, like, I go, like, hey, hide behind this door and give us like a minute. So for your boss? What? Well, you're doing that to your boss? You're doing that he's to way up next to the, the, uh, the guy. Yeah, uh, uh, the guy's next to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, you tell him. You tell him. Well, oh, you want me to protect the, yeah, protect the one him. guy? Yeah, protect him. Cause so you're going to tell me to protect him? Protect him. He's like, you, I killed you, people. I don't I kill people. people. All right, you just no, lay down. You, I was just saying, and then uh, you can try to, like, there's something not going. There's not something right here. I was gonna say there's something right here. Cause I can He's go up getting and say, ready. So I can you go guys up are here to kill us. And we're gonna start killing you. Now what's going yeah, on? Tell him to duck and cover. And, and basically, yeah. he just sticks out his data pad of like, I just want to cash out and go. So, I'm trying yeah. to hack into the like, security and camera system. Or we could just call him on the ship that. right now. I think it's bad guys. I think it's bad guys out there. Like, I don't think they have anything to do with the insects. But the thing is, I, I think they know. Everyone. Did, didn't he detect that the boss, that the other boss, had a transmitter as well? Yeah, he, 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 something he felt a transmitter. And do you think the, the transmitter the was the dice? The die box? I see, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, but he felt a transmitter in the crate as well as on the person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he knows he something. He might have sold up. So, I'm tempted to just go up there and say, hey, look, okay, let's cut to the chase, gentlemen. And, like, we know that, you, you, that you're up to something, okay? Hey, we understand. We don't blame you. But shit's about to get real. So unless you want to, if you want to live, tell us what the fuck is going on. If you want, okay. instead, instead of okay, hinting, can, hinting that the, he, he picked up from the forest, you could... Just say that when, when he showed you the uh, the, the tablet previously, like, he like, go, we, we saw, we found on the video. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll the well, she still that. doesn't know what he knows. Okay. I don't know about that. I don't know what that is. Okay, language. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the, the Twilight guy, like, okay. hey, baby, you know, thanks again. So All over right. Him? Yeah. So, but then just so I can get close enough to that, oh, come on, baby, let's go. All right, let's cut to the chase, gentlemen. All right. Um, let's call it like it is. We know for a fact that you're hiding something. You've got transponders in that cave as well as upon your person. You're nervous as hell. My guys are gonna itchy twitty trigger fingers. Okay, so we know shit's about to go down. Tell us what the fuck is going on, and you just might live uh, yeah, from this. <laughs> Which one are you talking to? The, I'm talking to the, the leader to the space the, the, the guy. It's spacers. like uh-huh. Okay. And he just kind of gives you this charming smile. And he does the whole, we're just here to do business. We just want the money. I want to close up the shop we've got outside, and we want to get off this this, this floating piece of metal. <laughs> okay, basically, yeah. I'm going to say, so he does not wish to cooperate or admit that right, he is part of All right, then I'm shooting of, uh, at these three guys in a line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like, he had, I'm and I'm, like, and I'm okay. literally going to go turn all to all him. Right, I'm, I'm literally going to turn to him, pull go, my gun, and go, you had your chance. What do I need? Because I want to know what okay, you're for. Let's, let's all go ahead and roll our cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we cool have an issue well, in this case, it's cool. Cool. Because okay. you guys are starting some shit. <laughs> I just don't like the fact that this guy is trying to play games with us. I just feel like this is bad. So I have a... Uh, Man, you know, in the success. success. Let's go ahead and start this way. Oh, yeah. Three successes. Three successes. Okay. It's going to be my best roll in the success. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Nothing. Ouch. Uh, advantage success. Two success and an advantage. That's pretty good. Wow. Not good enough to be yours. That's true. That one's enough to tie. That's (laughs) high. They're good at this. They're cool at this. Actually, no. They're but about, you're just so cute. They're, they're about as equal as yeah. yeah. No, no. You should be. Able, you should like oh, act all cuddly and be like, don't. No, do the whole Puss in Boots, big eyes. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> no, my presence isn't that good. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mangier looking squirrel. Oh. No, two's not average. But... <laughs> like, is he a mange? <laughs> 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 
main from the Earth. 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 We have space main. Hey. <laughs> this just seems too shady for me. Okay? Space mage. Hyper mage. <laughs> so, you're shooting at the planet. Oh, I'm shooting at the planet. All kinds of crazy shit's going to be happening. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. So, this is how we die. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nice no, knowing you, everyone. <laughs> So That's all I'm, I'm saying. Hey, okay. I, I, by the way, I'm aiming at the door. They're gonna be like stormtroopers, like minions. I'm aiming at the door. By the way, the ones outside. Oh, okay. So 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 I'm who would like to go first? Well, so, yeah. so I was. You're at the. You guys are both was, at your controls. Well, while they were talking, yeah, I was you guys, to you guys are at your controls, so you've got access so, to okay. the control. Why don't we let the hacker yeah. go first? I'm trying then. to see what's outside through the security systems. Okay. So yes. can, and cameras and stuff. Okay. Outside the door. Go what? for it. So Who's it's going to be against go first. three percent. What's the some like random guys that are just sitting there drinking? <laughs> Not from your impression, though. Yeah, you're getting that's ready. Good. You're, that's, you, that's your impression would ready. have. Let's see. What? One disadvantage and by successes. Okay, so when you click the camera, you get the little spiel cameras where it shows the four cameras in here pointing at different angles and the two cameras outside here. That shows the, there's a little bazaar that's out here. With, you know, got a little shop for the crew that they've mm -hmm. set up. But the odd thing is, there's nobody at their booth right now. Okay. You know, there, there seems to be, there may have been signs of struggle or their booth's a mess, one or the other. And you see a very tough looking gentleman with a disruptor rifle <coughs> with three goons behind him. And a very tough looking <coughs> gentleman in armor with a uh, automatic blast rifle with three goons with him. And they're getting ready, they're counting down as, yeah. as you're looking at the video. Trouble out the door. How many is there? Eight? It looks like a total of eight. Eight arms oh, outside the door. So can I like can right. lock it? Can I dock talk this? Okay. I don't know if I can oh, get a lock in right now. What's right? it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Real quick, Imperial armor? No, no, no it's, 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 it's random. It's just, just yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we, they're counting down right now to have Yeah, they're classes. basically so, counting down for the breach of the All you know is okay, I said, so hold on. Yeah, he says they're at the door. I got, we got eight outside breaching. That's basically what I say. Uh -huh. Okay, I look at him. I'm like, can I have, can I have a grenade? Grenade, please, sir. We're halfway across the room. Yeah. 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 No, we're near our grenade. Roll it, don't no, roll it over. Oh, no. I think that was poorly. <laughs> Let's not hope that the roll. Okay, for so he was firing next. I can set up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so uh, did you want to do anything at your camp? Yes. Uh, is, is is this door? Is it open right it now? It is closed. Yeah. Is it's, it locked? So it's, you it's, should it's get an advantage because I will lock the door. Basically, oh, okay. Go for it. Uh, yeah, we can get him on. Okay, it's just two perp. Really easy thing to do. Head. Just engage in the lock. That'll definitely mess up somebody's turn that they will just do like the other one. Oh. Give them black dice. That's the ideal. Well, they'll have to hack the door open. So, four successes and an advantage. Oh, yeah. yeah. You basically hit the auto lock and the mag seal on the door shuts. So it's it's basically airtight at this point. Close the blasters, close the blasters, open the blasters, open the blasters! <laughs> so, um... Okay, so now we're at the top of the... You guys are all spread about. Let's yep. go ahead and put minis on the map. Uh, okay, where's the spacer and the twilight guy that... They're right here. Then yeah. I, would, I would be next to... Uh, up there with those guys. Yeah. Those busting crates. Well, that you were said you were going to fire on the three. Yep. So uh -huh. then the twilight will be... Other the guy will be right in between okay. us. Okay. Let me borrow some guy. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we, you're, probably, you're probably back here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. the terminals. And... So then we use... Where's the spacer guy? Spacer guy is one of those circles right there. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and... He was right there for the business part. Okay, so then the other two circles are his. And these are all the other two. Those were the ones that did all the work. <laughs> They're like over here taking a breather, leaning up against the landing gear. Like, come on, guys. Well, where are these? Are our two pilots? No, 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 no. no, no. Yours are, yeah, are still in the okay, car. Okay, so they're yeah, the drivers right. are still in the car. They're they're not doing any heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm hearing around so the corner. I'm this. shooting the three that are in front of me. Okay, so uh, can your weapon hit three people? Uh, I can. What does it have auto fire? It's or got a. Uh, which which weapon are you using? Bertha. <laughs> Bertha. Yeah, here so Bertha you know, does all sorts. Yeah, I'm wearing a name. Uh, piercing with three accurate one. So don't forget to get the, the automatic dice. You gotta get. Oh. 
Yeah. So what kind of weapon is it? It's a heavy blaster rifle. Okay, so it's like the one you saw the stormtroopers use a tripod for to set up a big long. Oh no, mother. <laughs> no, actually, it's it's just a it's the DHX heavy oh, blaster. Oh okay. It's just it's just it's modded out a little bit. Right. <laughs> I saved my. I'm out of it. I, I saved my. Okay, so it's it's a fine. So anyway, so yeah. This thing has okay, go ahead and take so your shot on for two. It's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, is there all this is why there? I bring the little. This is why you bring the octagon. Why didn't you? Because nobody liked the octagon. <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't say we didn't like it. All right, so. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five. Schneider. This is why guns are deadly. <laughs> well, these two. If I just do Yeah, that. see, I always pull yeah. off the ones that cancel each other out. So that's a success and. Jesus. Which is, so, so how much damage does your shot? Which is a crit. Plus and a crit. So uh, first match that's stuff. <laughs> that's ten to the already thirteen, and that's only three of them. <laughs> uh, okay. so I don't have all the cheat sheets on crits, but and then the other thing. Let's see what else I want. I was gonna say, yeah. What? How do you want to burn those advantages? And, uh, it might be something better than a crit. <laughs> well, I only need three for the crit, so I can. You can you can activate the advantage multi- uh, the the crit multiple times to add ten well, to have, the roll. I have a cheat sheet actually on me. So then, um, yeah. Can you, so give me like an advantage. So you could spend both of them to roll your crit plus ten uh, on top of it. Yeah. She had how many advantages? She had six advantages. Six advantages. The advantage on, all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead for weapon with blank. Well, how, how much does it cost to activate your crit? Uh, three. Okay, yeah, three. So you can activate it twice. Once to once to do the critical hit, and then one more time to give you a plus ten. So that's uh, for, for the record, you don't need to worry about rolling crit. <laughs> These you guys take book. more damage than they do uh, than, than crits. <laughs> So, so, what, so, what is the so it's 13 damage. Oh, wow. Literally, you line up, you fire Bertha off, and you, a burning hole appears through two of them. And Which they just, is- basically, their leader and, and the, the goon guy behind him just fall to the sides. Right. As the third guy's got huge saucer eyes looking in. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. DungeonCrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. My mom and I kept the autism a secret, otherwise... They would treat me more different, and they would, like, ignore me or something like that, like I don't even exist in the world. Autism now affects 1 in 68 children, and the figures are on the increase. People with autism are our friends, family, neighbours, and part of our community. Autism awareness and acceptance is becoming increasingly relevant to society. My name is Yvonne Wan. I'm a social, cultural anthropologist and broadcast standard film ethnographer. 
I would like to raise funds so I can conduct a full ethnographic study and documentary about how autistic individuals transition into adulthood. I would like to raise autism awareness and inspire people and employers to accept and celebrate human diversity. This includes observing individuals in their home and work environments. The proposed period of research is three months following the lives of multiple families affected by autism. Visit Film Ethnography for more information.